Hi, it's Chris Watkin here, back with the next ICG webinar. And the question I'm asking today is, independent estate agents are the backbone of UK estate and letting agency. Do they get enough recognition? First, I'd like to go to Christian Byfield, who himself is an independent letting agent in the sunny suburb of Shoreditch. Easy answer to your Chris, uh, question, Chris. No, they bloody don't, is the answer and, and, to that. I mean, the question is this, recognition from whom? So look, I think, um, again, I've, I've been quite vocal about how our industry is portrayed and perceived uh, in the mainstream media and by the public. Um, so I think there are a couple, of, a couple of the things I've rallied against are, first of all, there is a general public perception that the industry is dominated by corporates and independents make up a small part of the market. And as we all know here, that is pretty much completely the opposite, about 80% of the industry is independent. So I think in that respect, I think coverage of our industry, because the big corporates have big advertising contracts and big PR agencies working for them, they get 99% of coverage within mainstream media, whilst only representing about 20% of the market. So I think there is an unfair representation within the media. And I think it's just easy. It's easy for them to work with a PR agency for your Knight Franks, your Savills, your Countrywides, than it is to really do some legwork and reach out to independent agents across the country, estate and letting agents, different areas, and really get a proper insight into what's happening. Um, I also think the mainstream media all too often defaults to the typical agent hating, um, you know, agent and landlord kicking um, position that they always take. And, you know, I was, I was very vocal with City AM last year when they wrote what I thought was a very, very lazy article panning estate agents unilaterally um, without any sort of real genuine effort, journalism or insight into anything. Um, and, and, you know, took him to task about that. And um, they invited me to write a piece about how innovative and world leading our industry is. And I think the good side of our industry genuinely is world leaders in terms of tech, in terms of innovation, in terms of service standards. Um, and I don't think that ever gets talked about. You know, it gets talked about a little bit within industry press, but within the mainstream media, none of that gets talked about. And, uh, you know, sadly, I wrote a really interesting piece that covered everything from tech to the human side of doing things like, you know, someone dropping someone back a pair of trousers or someone fundraising to help get a, a, a house with a swimming pool because their kid had cerebral palsy. Um, and sadly, City AM refused to run it. So um, in answer to your question, yeah, I think, you know, independents are the lifeblood of the industry. They're the fastest to innovate. They tend to be the ones who set the standards in terms of market service that is then replicated um, or acquired um, by by larger operations. So I think independents definitely don't get the credit and celebration that they long deserve. Okay, Steve Mead, what have you got to add to this? So, apologies, guys. Yeah, I don't think there's much to add, is there? After after that um, after that speech, Mr. Byfield, but I, I do I do fully agree with you. Um, are they the, are they the backbone of the industry without a doubt? One hundred percent. Do they get the right recognition? In recognition, it's like as Chris said, it's from whom. I, I every business that I work in is a, is people business. You know, whether it's the training, the recruitment, the engagement contracts we work with the TMS group or whatever, we are all about people. And I think the great thing from the independence point of view and knowing, you know, we all know lots of them, is, is the individuals who work within the business and the recognition they get from the actual business leaders and the management um, and the industry as a whole. You know, I know that there's many, many people, um, business owners, and the, the, the best business owners are certainly the ones that own the businesses, the independent businesses from one office businesses up until up to 10, 12 office businesses. I think they're, they're streets ahead of the um, of the corporates. And without a doubt, they're the backbone. But recognition wise, I think it's all about the recognition the team gets um, and not just mass, not necessarily the brand. I think um, independents make the best. They 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 bring on the best people in the industry. Um, they engage the best people in the industry. And I think um, long term, that's where, you know, the, the success is going to be is going to be with the uh, with the big independents. And I take my heart to people like Christian, obviously started a business 
however many years ago has just gone from strength to strength. But it's because he's engaged the right people, especially with his business partner and, uh, and the other people that work within the business. So, um, yes, they are the backbone. Do they get the recognition? Probably not. OK, Rob, you, you were a letting agent and recently just sold your big seven branch network in Hertfordshire and Luton. Um, did you do this for recognition? No, no. I mean, the, be the best recognition I got was when I looked in the till, really. That's 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 all. That's the main recognition I was looking for. And, and happy customers, happy customers will pay your fees and be happy to pay for the service that they that they receive. So that was what I would be looking at. Of course, we would read the industry press and of course, we would read the national press and see the negative statements that were out there. But really, if you're doing a good job, your customers will keep coming back to you. Um, <laughs> So right. in, in, innovation tends to start from the small independents um, and the big changes that you've seen in the market tends to have started from smaller, smaller businesses. Um, and I think that in itself um, provides us with some recognition. But no, certainly I don't. I never did the job for recognition. I don't think you ever would be a letting agent for the recognition, to be there. honest. OK, let's go to Brad Bradley. What have you got to say on this? I can say that the uh, data, when we analyze the messaging through our platform, for example, text messages, shows that difference between the more agile personal services uh, of the independent versus uh, the larger customers that tend to have the prepackaged, automated uh, kind of service, you know, the mass market kind of services. So definitely there is that agility and that pers personal uh, service with the independents and they tend to be more agile in terms of the features that they will enable um, you know the type of engagement the platforms that will go on to um, you know the social media messaging as well as simply perhaps okay. mobile and whatsapp um, so there definitely is that better quality of service in the independents okay um an inflammatory question here now for matt goddard do you think that the both the portals and the CRMs have homogenized the state agents to the point where we all look and act the same? So therefore, that's why people just don't give us the recognition because we all look and act the same. I don't think necessarily on the CRM front. And having come from a state agent where we built this software in-house and everyone walked in the door and walked out very much wearing the same suit and tie, I saw a state agent who was homogenized by our CRM and it was an in-house one. Um, uh, I don't necessarily think the same is true of portals, though, based on the last conversation we're having about leads. Everybody's looking at the way the leads come in and you've got a, a one or all type approach to it. Um, I think where, where, where the PropTech ecosystem allows you to do is you look at those processes you really want to focus down, maybe double down on whether that's customer services or it's digital marketing. If you're passionate and see that as where you have a real value add, or even coming back to Christian point, point that locality and knowledge of, I will drop someone round or will find a particular property that helps a, 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 a tenant or prospective tenant who's got a specific set of needs, then it's the servicing through those sort of additional prop techs um, that an independent has the ability to see and move away from that view that we're homogenised. I think the magic thing is, and firstly, thank you for everyone for saying that points, is, is that we've got to be different, different, not for different sake but to stand out and give value. I think we as an industry are very good at talking about ourselves and not actually talk about the problems or the issues that, that our clients have. And I think if we start doing that using the power of social media, I think we'll go an awful long way. I just want to say thank you very much, everyone, for your time today. I uh, wave goodbye to UK State and Agency, and we'll see you next time on the next ICG webinar. Thanks very much. <laughs>